for the stake.com presenting grand sponsor player of the match who receives a check for 2022 US dollars and a trophy from yourself Akil and the player of the match for a magnificent century India's Deepak Hooda Uh, Deepak, I think I'm going to say a few words to you. Come, uh, after, after you've come to me, then you're on your way back you sign the ball. I won't keep you too long, okay? Well, firstly, let's, let's come here. No, okay, so, look, I mean, you've batted beautifully. What, what, was your, what was your mindset coming into this series? What did you do set yourself the, a task? To be honest, I'm coming from a good IPL and I was trying to just follow the same performance here. And key point for me is that I was just trying to bat on my intent and I'm clicking it. I'm happy for that. I'm blessed for it. Yes, your form in the IPL was wonderful. You, I've known you for many years now. You've always been an aggressive player. Is, it, is that key to the way you play? Yeah, like I like playing in that manner and according to the situation. So, and nowadays I'm getting batting up the order, so I have my time and... I'm just trying to play according to the situation. You also put on a world record today, 176 with Sanju Sampson. How good was it batting with Sanju today? Yeah, Sanju is my childhood friend. We played in under 19 together. It always feels good to like partnership like this with a mate. And yeah, I'm happy for him as well. Great. How, how much have you enjoyed Ireland being here in Malahide in Dublin? Uh, Ireland is very good and to be honest, yeah, I enjoyed it a lot, especially the positives I get from cricket here, I love it. A final word, what about the fans who have stayed here and cheered for, throughout for two days? Uh, fans are superb here and uh, I, don't ne I never feel like I'm playing out of the India, especially in the stadium. But yeah, cricket is different. They think you give me that vibe I'm playing on, in Ireland. But yeah, thank you so much for the fans, the way they come and they support us. Yeah, they certainly have. Well, you've made your mark in Ireland. Well done, Deepak. Deepak, you have to sign the ball for our fan. If you can just sign the, the ball there. That's to sign the match ball for the stake.com fan of the match. Well done, Deepak. 47 in the first uh, match, 104 in the second, and a brilliant century while well, Deepak Huda has announced himself very much in Ireland. Right now we're moving on to the uh, series awards because we've had two matches in this uh, enthralling series so let's go on now to our next award which is the Exchange 22 multi-bagger of the series award and it goes I should have kept him here once again to Deepak Huda for bagging the highest number of points during the series of Exchange 22. The Sport cast stock market 213 points in both matches. Deepak Huda, come on back, please, to receive a check of $500 from Mr. Warren Dutram, Chief Executive Officer of Cricket Ireland. I hope you've got some excess baggage allowance there, Deepak. Well, well done. Thank you very much, Warren. Now then, for the Joy E-Bike Player of the Series Award, a check for 1,000 US dollars and a trophy from Mr. Yatin Gupta, Chairman and Managing Director of Joy E-Bike, for 101 runs, 47 and 104 today. Once again, India's Deepak Huda. The Joy E-Bike Player of the Series. Well done, Deepak. Congratulations for the player of the series, the Joy E-Bike Player of the Series Award. Thanks very much uh, indeed, and well done, Deepak. He's got a lot of checks and some trophies there. Now, I'd like to invite uh, Andy Balberni, captain of Ireland, to come. Andy? Yeah, well done. <laughs> come, come on here, let's... Uh, well, what a game of cricket. I mean, could you just tell us what the feeling is like inside the dressing room now? 
Um, yeah, we're all pretty good. At, um, it's not every day you get that close to a, a team like India. Uh, we did a lot of good stuff with the bat. Uh, we said at the halfway stage that there's only one way we're going to chase this, and that's to go out and, and be expressive. And I think we did that. Um, but yeah, it's, we're, we're, we're bitterly disappointed when you come so close. Um, it was a great game of cricket for everyone here. Um, the crowds have been amazing the last two games, but certainly it's a, it's a bitter pill to swallow now. So 225 on the board. I mean, that's a daunting target anyway. So. What was your chat with you and with Paul Sterling at, at, at the halfway time? Well, certainly we had to make use of the power play. That's a, a bit of a no-brainer. I thought Paul did that brilliantly. Um, he, that first over, he, he went at uh, Boovy and set the tone. Um, I obviously took a bit more time to get going, but eventually did. Um, but yeah, that sort of opening partnership set the tone, I think, for the rest of the guys to come in and express themselves. And I think they did that pretty well all the way down. But the fact that you got so close, I know it's, it's heartbreak, I know that you get so close, but, but take the positives from it. I know that's a well-known, a well-worn cliche, but what do you take from this? Because you've got a busy summer of cricket ahead for Cricket Ireland. Yeah, and our T20 cricket has been up and down over the last couple of years, trying to find what sort of game we want to play. That sort of game there is something pretty close to what we want to do, um, particularly with the bat, and, and we've just got to keep developing that over the summer so that once we go to the World Cup in October, we're completely clear with our plans and, and how we go about a chase or, or setting a total. Yeah, and new coaching group, captain, and, and some young players coming through. Is, is it, although tonight you've lost, but is it a good feeling inside that dressing room? Um, I think at the moment it's, it's disappointment, but at the same time we've gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with a really good team. Yep. Um, we've put up a, a very good score, which on any other day would be you know, potentially a winning score, but uh, we have to take that confidence. Uh, I think we play New Zealand next week in ODIs and then in T20s, and we have a really exciting summer, so we can't just let this be a, a flash in the pan. We have to make sure we keep improving and keep going out with the same mindset um, in T20 cricket. Andy, thanks very much. You've entertained us. Good luck against New Zealand. Thanks, Alan. Cheers. Thanks very much. Andy Balburney, captain of Ireland. And, of course, uh, Ireland obviously mightily disappointed to come second. But it is India who take the series, and their captain is Hardik Pandya. <laughs> Hardik, let's have a chat first. How are you? I'm good. You well? How, yeah, I'm good. How, how are you feeling after? I mean, that was a very, very close contest. How worried were you going into that final over? To be honest, not. Uh, I was not. I was trying to keep uh, all the pressure and everything out of the, my equation because I wanted to focus and kind of, uh, you know, be in the present and you know, kind of back to Imran because uh, the guy, that guy has pace and obviously someone who's, uh, you know. I won't say uh, a batter or something, but you know, with his pace, it's going to be always difficult to kind of get these 18 runs. But when you scored 225, weren't you confident, or were you confident that they wouldn't have come close? I think we have come to play a game of cricket, so obviously they're going to come and kind of show some. Uh, I mean, show what exactly they have. They played some amazing uh, shots. They kind of batted very well, and uh, you know, credit to them to kind of take the game where it went and uh, at the same point of time uh, credit to our bowlers as well to kind of hold their nerves and make sure that you know we cross our lines it's not often that you and the stars of india play on grounds like this i mean the fans are right next to you uh, it, it's so different to what you play on uh, the grounds in India. How did you enjoy this experience? Well, it was fantastic. It was, uh, you know, the crowd. I think uh, the, their, their favorite boy was uh, Dinesh and Sanju. So, you know, very happy for them to <laughs> kind of get to get to see them play. And at the same point of time, a great experience for us to, you know, come out there and, you know, experience this side of the, you know, world and kind of uh, how they enjoy the sport as well. Everywhere you go, there's blue shirts, aren't there? Everywhere you go. Yeah, that, that has been the story since I've played. I mean, before I've uh, even played, uh, a lot of support comes for India and a lot of passion is passion comes with it. And uh, that's why we are very grateful to the fans who, who keep coming and kind of cheering for us and make sure that, you know, we kind of, uh, we try to entertain them. And I think, I hope we did the series as well. So thanks, thanks to the Indian fans who are still here. Absolutely. Thank you, everyone who supported us throughout. And, uh, you know, my love and everything wishes for them. Absolutely. And, and finally, from a personal point of view, I mean, I'm looking over your shoulder there, some young faces, new faces. H how proud have you felt to wear the beanie of India? <laughs> uh, absolutely proud. Uh, as, as a child or as a, as a youngster, it's always a dream to kind of play for your country. And, you know, kind of, you know getting a chance to represent your country so many times is always going to be an honor. And, you know, at the same point of time, leading and, uh, you know, getting our first victory was special. Now getting our first uh, series win was special. So. Yeah. Yeah, very happy and very proud for the, of the boys and at the same point of time, very happy for Hudda as well. The way, the way he batted, 
um, and Umran. Credit uh, <laughs> to them, and I think they are in hurry, so I should go. Well, let's get the team in. Aka, team India. Boys, please come in. Chalo, Ajo, chalo. Ajo, Ajo, Ajo. Come. And the stake.com trophy to be presented by Mr. Akil Sarin and David Griffin, Chairman, President of Cricket Ireland. The stake.com trophy goes to India and their captain, Hardik Pandya. Uh, celebration time for Hardik Pandya, his first series, and victory for India as they collect the stake.com trophy. Uh, worthy winners of the first match, reduced to 12 overs aside, but this time around. Ireland falling short by just four runs. Interesting to hear what Pandy had to say there at the end. It's good captaincy. He was thinking about different things, not about the pressure of the moment, but how they were going to win the game. <laughs>